you know, I've said this quite a bit recently and I feel like it kind of needs to be said again because I've had, uh, you know, I had one person bring it up in, <laughs> in my vlogs uh, even before I, I uh, made this particular one and this won't be up for a few weeks. You know, man, you're doing two different types of curls in the same workout. Oh my God, whoever thought Laha well, would do that. And here's what I'm going to say about that, guys. You know what? It's fine to do some pump work, okay? You know, it, I feel like at a certain point in the whole strength world, we had this disconnect to where we're just like, this is just show muscles, biceps are show muscles, they're just for peacocking, and uh, we don't have to train them as serious lifters. We care about strength, and you know, let's see those guys with the big biceps do a massive deadlift, right? You know, this, this sort of attitude, here's the thing, here's the thing. People notice stuff like your biceps. Yes, they're the smallest major muscle in the entire upper body. That is actually a fact. They really are. They are. They're smaller than your delts. They're smaller than triceps, pecs, traps, lats, all of that. All those muscles are bigger, considerably bigger. Okay? But people notice them because we walk around in short sleeves. People are going to notice your biceps. You know, and, and that's ultimately the thing. How many power lifters out there you'll hear someone look at a picture of them online, even though we, you might be bigger in person, because that is the norm. Because a lot of, um, you know, guys who chase a certain look, they look bigger on the camera, but in person they're not big, but they look big. Okay, to create that illusion. You know, and how many power lifters then have to deal with, well, you don't look nearly big enough to lift that weight. How, how can you be, you're way stronger than you look, you know? Think about that for a moment. And many of us, we've, we've laughed about that over the years. And we're like, yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm still lifting it, you know. Okay. But here's the thing. Shouldn't we at least be decent at all things? And that's just something to think about, particularly for those of us who are going to be influencers, teachers. We want people to listen to us. Okay you're gonna get stuck with a certain specific niche if you only promote, let's say, being a power lifter at a higher body fat, and that's what you do. You know what, that's gonna limit your outreach. That's gonna limit the people who maybe need to hear your message. And I would say the same to these guys who chase purely a look and they're weak. Like, well, you guys need to step your game up too. Let's, let's, we could apply the same rule to them, and I will. Okay, how many people used to clown me about, oh, not really looking the way they thought I should look, and now I've gotten leaner, I've gotten bigger, I've done a little bit of bicep work, a little bit of delt work. How many people out there, followers are like, oh my God. I've had people chime in in the last few months who hadn't seen me in years, are like, what happened to you, coach? Like, you're in the best shape I've ever seen you. Past 45, and you're now bigger and leaner than I've ever seen you. What what in the world happened? Okay. All right, this is a good thing. You know, and, and I think that we need to think in terms of these standards. Because if we want people to really listen to us, we need to be well-rounded. Okay. I want people to listen to what I have to say about strength training, about nutrition, about all these topics. Maybe even not get conned. Yeah. But if they're so hung up on the fact that I don't have biceps, because I need to add another couple inches probably to my arms. They're so hung up on the fact that I don't have abs that they're not going to listen to me and they're gonna keep getting scammed. Have I really worked at, at, at putting out the message that I wanna put out to teach people to not get scammed, not get ripped off, to have, to be strong, to not fall for fad diets? Have I done my best to put that out if I'm walking around with a belly and don't train my biceps and therefore how many thousands and thousands of followers are going to just potential followers are going to walk by and ignore okay I have not done my best to put that message out then and that's something I had to start thinking about and I would say it's the same, you know, you get the influencers who, you know, if I want to call them out for having a look, but then they're, they're weak and I'm like, where's your squat? Where's your deadlift? 
Why don't you have hamstrings, bro? Maybe you don't need to be teaching people. Maybe you are not worthy of the status of, of being a fitness expert that people need to listen to, right? But then they flip back the over on me. Okay, here's my point. Even though I, I feel that I'm right on that other, do they have a point? They do have a point. I have to do better. So if I want to be able to call those clowns out for not teaching people good strength training, or I want to discuss nutrition, because again, I discuss nutrition, you know, I used to have people say, I would give them the best nutrition advice for recovery health, and because I wasn't ripped, I wasn't even fat by any means, you know, I'm not even ripped now. But because I'm, you know, walking around at 19 or 20% body fat, I'm not going to take nutrition advice from a fat guy. That's what they would say. I mean, I'm telling them to take fish oil because it's good for their heart, right? Trying to discuss how much protein they need. Trying to, to discuss adding vegetables to their diet, right? I'm not going to take advice from a fat guy. Okay. This is a problem. So if I want to flip around on other guys, well, people shouldn't be taking advice from your weak ass. You don't know shit about training. But I don't have any biceps. <laughs> I don't have abs. Okay? So that potential audience are going to flip that around. I better be able to market myself. And I better be able to help them because how many of those kids, maybe they might want to hear the other message, but they still want to have that look. And they're like, I don't know, coach. I want to look a lot better than you. I don't care if you're an old man. Maybe you can't lead me to where I need to go. Ooh. Okay. We got a problem. And I think this is something that everyone should take on board who wants to put out stuff. I think this same standard does need to be applied. You know? And I'm going to do a better job of that, being more well-rounded. I am going to be thicker. I'm going to have bigger arms. I'm going to get leaner to go with a 600-plus pound deadlift. To go with that 405 bench I'm shooting for before I turn 50. Okay. something I've had to take on board. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.